Okay, so the the main area of problem that you're gonna have uh, here is that extended third finger um, at the end of measure 11, 12, 13, okay? And so when you practice that, you have to slow it down, always slow things down, but um, basically you've got fourth finger and then a half step down to the G sharp, which gives you this. So that right there should be uh, repeated a few times. So you develop uh, comfort with that little passage and then what you want to do is back up a measure or two and then play through it to make sure that you've got the technique to, to be able to, uh, to play it without any, any mistakes. So that would sound like this. Right? And so the other thing is there's a rest right before that. That rest is enough time for you to get the preparatory motion in place, get the fourth finger in place, and you have the third finger close by, right? Because you want independent fingers, you don't want to plop both down. Get your fourth finger ready, third finger's right behind. So that again would be like this. Rest happens, fourth finger's in place. See what I mean? Good. And so then the, the last thing that I'll point out here is um, when you have open strings, it, it does call for open strings on the part, but with that being said, it's not a bad thing if you use a fourth finger instead of open D. And you hear me in a lot of my other videos always advocating for the use of fourth finger with vibrato because obviously it sounds more beautiful and definitely more sophisticated. So as you get better, you want to do that.